keeping with the theme of black major figures, I picked up a couple of the OD Green Cobra Troops. One is the Trooper with the red emblem on his chest. The other is the Officer, designated by a silver emblem on his chest. So these guys, as I said before with the orange trooper that I talked about, um, they're just, they're, they're like the original O-ring uh, Cobra troops and they're just new production. These guys do have a date stamp on the back of the waist, Black Major 2016. So they're a couple years old. Um, these are getting a little bit harder to find. So if you do find some for sale, grab them up. Um, they're a, they're a rare, a getting to be a rare custom figure. Uh, one of these guys, his knee is a little bit loose. I don't really have uh, the extremely high expectations for any of the uh, custom figures. But, I mean, these guys are great, dude. Uh, people people buy these and let their kids play with them. They survive it. Uh, these would have survived being played with back whenever I was a kid and, you know, picking up G.I. Joe's at Walmart with, uh, you know, friends and family and whatnot. But the loose knee doesn't really bother me. Again, I'll probably end up sticking these in a display case or... Uh, having some custom packaging made for them. If you have any doubts, trust me, they're, they're, the quality's there. These guys are good to go. A lot of people do uh, the, the troop building thing. I never got into it. It's something I've, I've thought about, but like, what, what am I going to do with, with you know, 20, 30 of these guys? 10 of them? I mean, I, I like to have one or two of each figure that I uh, that I end up with and I like to do different things with them sometimes I'll put them in a uh, uh, like an acrylic model display case or have them packaged like some of them are behind me um, yeah the black major figures though there's a, a huge assortment of them this is just a couple uh, I know that some people like to remove these emblems and put different styles of, or just different emblems of uh, uh, whatever on them to make different variations of their own. They're a great customizable figure. As a matter of fact, I'll get to that in, a, in another video. But I have I have a few that I've built a squad out of, kind of a squad. Uh, I'll show you guys in another video. But these OD green, these military green figures, these were made initially to be just troop builders. Uh, G.I. Joe had the green shirts at one point in time. Um, Grunt, <coughs> excuse me, Grunt from the original line. I think that, got, that, he, that character was meant to be more of a, a troop builder. Just like these guys were for Cobra, Grunt was uh, was kind of a, a Joe troop builder. Um, they didn't have any green, like, actual military-looking uh, figures at that point in time in Cobra. And, you know, these guys are the green shirts. They're the infantry. The grunts. You got the backpack hole just like any regular o-ring gi joe figure so i'll talk a bit about their accessories these actually uh one of these i picked up in uh in an auction and the other one i got a butt from a buddy of mine who i buy and sell and trade with sometimes um i got a backpack and a dragonov rifle with each of these guys we'll see if the backpack stays in see how it fits and it's very loose but Yet again, put some pressure on it. It'll stay in a display. It's not going anywhere. I'm not playing with these. You know, I'm not. I'm not doing a whole lot with them. Uh, someday I may end up getting into 
setting up dioramas. Dioramas are cool. I see where people are putting together some really, really neat looking stuff and using figures and just doing photography with them and posting the photography on Facebook and whatnot. I've seen people use these troops, the Black Major troops, to put together battle scenes, different dioramas, have them set up with vehicles outside in the woods, wherever, and uh, just doing photography with them. And to me, I mean, that's a, that's a whole new aspect of the hobby. You know, taking these guys and <laughs> sticking them on a shelf and, hey, this is cool. I get to look at these sometimes. I, whenever I walk in this room or whatever, I can, I can look at all my Joes. But you've got people out there that are doing some really cool stuff with them. They're, they're really setting up some, some nice dioramas and some nice uh, scenes for photography. They're incorporating these figures into uh, a whole other hobby. So... Yeah, check them out, Black Major Toys. These guys make great troop builders or whatever you want to do with them. Customize them. Um, yeah, the knee's a little bit loose. There's fixes out there for that. You know, they. Uh, if you if you really want to dig into it, you can take them apart, and you can actually tighten these joints up. With, uh, I think I think what people are doing is putting a, a little bit of super glue in the joint and then just working it back and forth while the glue dries and it just it tightens the joint up and doesn't seize it so but yeah hope to see you guys again here soon for another video uh, I'll be posting a black major squad one of those is a custom figure a custom custom figure <laughs> thanks